Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming, and welcome back to Pamela. We are here in... I really don't know where. Do we know? We're in the Garrison District. Ah, also under emergency power. And we still have our shield. Kind of weird. Okay. Cool. Still have our super powerful flashlights, so... We just got arrested for hacking, because I failed that one hack, unfortunately. Sorry about that, guys. But let's get to hacking and looting everything that isn't nailed down. Uh, okay, we got space. What are we doing for... No, we're, we're good on all our needs. Let's click here. Rehabilitation Ward, level 3. We have not been here before. At all. Which means we should go around and see what's up. The one thing actually... Hold on, let me go, let me go back in here. Can we sleep in this bed? No. Dang. It would be cool if we could, though. It would be very cool if we could just sleep in bed. But probably not. So, I, but I mean, like, I don't know if that functionality is going to be included. So this is very cool. This is where you go when you're arrested. Interesting. What do you have to say, Pamela? Emma is smiling today. She says that the project is on track to finish within nine months. She thinks I can't see the momentary sadness in her eyes. Weird. I wonder what the project is. Um, and I wonder if it's connected to the afflicted. Oh my god. We are going to loot all of these rooms, or at least see what's in these rooms for now. One, two, three, four. Okay, so money. Good. Light diffractor attached to standard flashlight frame in order to widen the area illuminated by beam by diffraction. Nope, we have that like plus plus on it. Okay, let's op let's leave open the doors that we've already looted, so that I'm not distracted, right? Or that I'm not confused easily here. Let's go here. We haven't looted anything here. What's in here, seeds. Okay, we can leave that alone. Seeds are not particularly important. Let's go down the line. There's at least one or two more doors I'm seeing that we didn't get to. I wonder, since this is where the Seekers... No, no, stop, stop. Only death. Stay out. Interesting. Okay. Well. I wonder, what I was, what I was going to say is I wonder if there are afflicted here. Because this is where the Seekers take you if you're arrested. So, in theory, shouldn't this just be as safe as houses? Uh, you know. It should be absolutely no one here that can bother you. It's just Seekers and Observers. And... The interesting thing that I realize is... So this is... You know, Eden 52 and all Edens, I'm assuming, are Utopias. Or they're designed to be utopias, right? No, we won't go down there yet. Let's actually walk around this floor. Um, which means that crime, according to the lore loading screens, is almost unheard of. Right? And it, the lore loading screen actually says that most citizens can go their entire lifetime without even witnessing a crime or really having any encounter with it. That's possible, and that would be very interesting. But that means... Check it out. We were arrested, and this is their jail. <laughs> It's basically like a has uh, like a, a a hotel. Interesting. Where the, I wonder where that leads, and we'll check that out in a minute instead of going downstairs. But let's just finish with all these rooms first. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in this room. Two, three, four. So yeah, so this is like uh, you're taken here, I guess, to rehabilitate you so that you are. <laughs> A more productive member of society? I don't know. We still don't have any weapons. And I'm wondering maybe they would have confiscated our weapon if we actually got brought here. Maybe not. In fact, I'm going to say probably not because they left us with our shield. But a shield isn't a weapon. A shield is a defensive tool. All right, there's plenty of food here and I don't really need that. Somebody suggested, by the way, when we were in the early episodes struggling to find food and water that I could just... Hold on. A01, that's what it is. Uh, that I could just force an arrest in order to go here because, and they're right, there is a lot of stuff here for us to take and use. Um, but for now, we're pretty flush with supplies, so we don't really need it. Okay, one more. 
So I'm really only looking for like miscellaneous gear, upgrades, and money. Whoops. There we go. Uh, like this. Nano Cipher Utility, a symbolic mechanized charm used by engineers to enhance their ability to interface, interface with security measures. Dun, dun, okay, dun, dun, dun. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. And do you know why I'm doing both of these? The reason for that is actually pretty straightforward. The, um... The inventory is a little clunky sometimes. There it is. Here it is. So we're going to put this away. I don't really, I mean, like, we don't use vending machines all that much. This is helping us with vending machines. So let's leave it here. Again, if we are in really dire straits and we end up here somehow, desperate to survive, we can maybe find that thing and it'll help us, even if we're low on money, maybe, maybe, maybe to get some supplies. So I don't know to what extent any of this stuff is persistent. You know, it could be that the storage will reset and we'll lose all the stuff whether we left there or kept there or placed there or whatever. But to the extent that it isn't, to the extent that we don't lose all that space... Okay, let's take this and put it here. Perfect. Uh, it'd be nice to, like, still leave ourselves with some useful supplies. And especially when we see what kind of supplies there are and have the luxury of not taking everything that isn't nailed down. Uh, another light ref a diffractor. No, we don't need that. And money. That we can take whenever. <laughs> okay, so we have now circled the floor, right? Let's see one thing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is there anything? No. Okay. Getting a bottle of wine, but we don't need that. Now... Let's see what's over here. Seeing a medical box. Is there anything here? No. Except this. Grapes. Yeah. Uh, ah, more rooms. More rooms. More rooms. And then, just out of curiosity, what is this? Maybe an elevator or something, but we are not being let in here. Sensor? No. Garrison box. Okay, fine. Uh, da -da -da. let's open this. Let's just finish scanning these rooms. I like that it's not the light of day here or anything. This is just artificial light right here. And that leads me to question, or to wonder, seaweed sandwich. Whether we are maybe underground? That's possible. Um... And this is, a, by the way, this is emergency power, according to uh, our, arm, our arm display. A citizen falls down a flight of stairs and is sent to Ark. He's under observation. I assign a fraction of myself to comfort him. Interesting. Back? Huh. Weird. Uh, a sign of it. Does she mean that David guy? Because David fell down a flight of stairs, didn't he? And he, uh, and he was basically, like, afflicted. Patient zero, from what we can tell, or from what we've assumed. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Uh, what is this? Integrated circuit gen three. Okay, so there, there is some concept of menu of crafting here beyond simply buying and making and placing buildables or connecting buildables or maybe they're used for repair of buildables that's also possible one two three four i guess we'll find out we'll find out when they basically fix base building okay a banana nobody cares about this banana the last two rooms, and then I'm kind of curious to see what the super, like, bright area is, and then we'll go through the doors that we could open with a switch. And then, depending on whatever's in that area, I guess we'll explore what's downstairs. <laughs> Ooh, four. Good. Another medi-hypo we can do without, right? Right. I think that one afflicted got, like, what hit on us, I think, and that's about it. 
Uh, well, there's nothing here. Okay, let's see what's this bright area. This is like a counseling area, isn't it? It's like a counseling area in the bright area, he says, as he turns into this completely different space. Okay. Okay, come on, this is a big box. There has to be something in it. It doesn't have to be, but it'd be nice. Okay. Yeah, we don't even have space for that. Let's put this away. This is a shield pylon. Again, useful for base building, unnecess unnecessary at the moment. Be good. Give me my cup of water. Where are we for needs? Uh, we're good for orange. Let's grab this cup of water. Who the heck cares, right? And let's see what we have here. Bubkus. This really is just like a, a nice sitting counseling area. But even then, like, this is really well and stylishly designed for a prison. You know? Okay. I feel like we're at the top floor, right? Because it looks like there's just stuff downstairs. Okay, let's see. Maybe this will have equipment in it. Come on, man. This is like Garrison's central, central deal here. Nope. I've learned my lesson with those things. <laughs> okay, let's see. There's nothing here, right? On this side, there should be that door that we can open with a switch. Right there. Okay, easy. Now just be prepared for something to be there that's horrible and probably going to try and eat our face. Not so much. But this is different. This is, of course, the Garrison District. So there should be some interesting weaponry here, Mayor? <laughs> weaponry here? Pardon me, I can't even talk anymore. Okay, cyanotubes, sure. What's over here? Lockers. Another Pamela Echo. Good. This is definitely more utilitarian, let's say than even the prison area. The rehab area, pardon me. I'm just gonna call it a prison even though it really isn't. It's just like... It's a sanitarium. It's a place where you go because they think you're unwell. You're so unwell that you're committing crime. The Western crime. Nanite Containment Tower has been destroyed. 31 people were killed. Garrison is attempting recovery efforts. So that... That is the red... thing. Remember we saw the red thing outside of Arcadia? I think that's the Nanite Swarm. And I wonder if that has something to do with the Afflicted. A2C1 Booster. A2C1 Booster. Research conducted by ARC Medical Biostera. Jointly problem presented. Increased osteoporosis cases in the general population. Suggested solution. After thorough research into the cause of bone density loss, see attached schedule, causes of increased bone density loss, ARC Medical has developed a new booster named A2C1. This booster will increase the reproductivity rate of osteoblasts while mildly subduing the activity of osteoclasts. Each resident will, release, will receive the injection on the eve of the Exodus Memoriam. The results expected near immediately. Close observation should be undertaken in the days following the injection to account for unforeseen variables in personal genetic makeup. Okay, well then, now I don't know which of the two to link, because that sounds like it could also be responsible for the afflicted, right? Because if you look at some of the ones that are just wandering around, especially like the low-level ones are the ones that are just like dumb as rocks and come after us, not the widows, not the, not the reapers, not even the ones that are just like feral people. Um, they have all these bone growths protruding from them, right? And if this injector that they just talked about is designed to remedy some sort of bone density loss, that could very well be the reason that everything went haywire. Because they inject it, people are different, or you know, it's mixed improperly, or No, or sabotaged, right? Also possible. And the moment that happens... Use this. Cool. 
The moment that happens, you know, everything goes haywire because bones start growing out of people's faces. You know, terrible things start happening to different people. Maybe it affects them mentally in some way, not just like, you know, traumatically like PTSD, but like just straight up the hypo messes with them. Okay, this is a water flask. Let's take that, sure. Where are we for everything? Food is going down faster. Is it just me or that, or like, after a while... Fertilizer. No. Ah. Uh, I'm seeing what I can only describe as a reaper back there. I think. And I don't like the fact that I still don't have any weapons. I can't fight a reaper with no weapons, guys. That's not how this is supposed to work. Okay, so let's do this. We're not going to go outside yet. We need to prepare a little bit more. Let's go see what's on the on the floors below this one. Yeah, see? See, he's walking around here like he's the king of garrison district. If you open that door, I swear, man. That's right. But I did promise you a good look at him, right? Let's see if maybe he'll walk over here now. Nope, oh, he's back over there. Or... Neither here nor there. Hey, man. That's not the best look, but yeah, you can see his, like, split arms and stuff, and he does have that red thing. Which is basically a corrupted arm interface. That's what that is. That's the that's the way they get away with like marking him as something special. Interesting. Okay, so let's go check out what's downstairs. And depending on what there is, you know, we will call it at some point. Um Obviously not the plan. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't expect to be arrested because I didn't expect to fail that one hack. But now that we're here, may as well roll with it, right? So let's see what's downstairs. I'm assuming it's rehab level 2? So that raises the question of what happens when we get all the way to the bottom. Is there something all the way at the bottom? And more importantly, is there something all the way at the bottom that, you know, just ordinary people could get to? Because this is the rehab complex, so in theory you should be able to go out... And, like, socialize in these little areas. And we'll see. And maybe, maybe, maybe... There will be some sort of... What is that? What is this? Two... Three... Four... That's... That's some sort of container... Container? What the heck? A light... Oh, cool! That's like a, an augment for the flashlight, right? The light diffractor? I like that container. That's very cool. Alright, what's in here? Augment coupon dampened. Take that. Um, yeah, it gets added to our person... Whatever. I think... I think... That allows us to now get that particular augment at the Genesis augmentation stations. Don't quote me on that, don't hold me to that, but uh, we'll try it next time we're in Promenade. Assuming we get out of here, find a weapon, and can take down that Reaper. Um, we're not going to open these do these doors yet, because they're pretty much the same. And I don't want to subject you to yet another like five minutes of me going door to door, hacking every single thing that is possible to hack. Instead, let's at least look around, and then maybe we'll go downstairs. Just to see what's down there. Turkey. No, thank you. We have plenty of food. Maybe we'll just go downstairs and see what's downstairs, and then we'll call it there. Because, you know, at the end of the day, pretty sure I know what, uh, what the end goal here is, and that is we're just going to have to go through that Reaper. There's going to be no way to get, to get around that. And he's going to rumble us like... You guys would not believe. <laughs> oh, hello. Listen. 
Buddy, you gotta you gotta get back to your room. And there's another one. And they're all running around down here. Yeah, okay. Boom! That's right. That's right. So he's down, that's one. There was another one over there, but we're on level one of the ward. I'm assuming that's about the lowest we can go. But let's quickly, let's quickly, quickly, quickly. Well, first things first, let's see. Can, is there anything hack here other than this health box? No. It's over here. Random supply boxes. Not seeing anybody here. Is there something here? Is there like a downstairs area? No. There's just... There is just bodies. Oh my god. Okay, and money. Oh my god, and money. Uh, and an empty box. Okay. Let's go hunt down that last inf afflicted. Hopefully he's the last one. And then we'll call it there. And next time we come back, we'll... I don't even know. Maybe before I start fill maybe I before I start recording, I'll go and check these rooms just to see what I can find. You know, like maybe some money or something. Uh what do we got? We use for some food. Let's eat let's eat this seaweed sandwich, because why not? I think she's I think she's the only other afflicted in this area. That's right. Boom. And you are. Ow. That's right. That's right. You did hurt me, though. Eh, not that much, but you hurt me sufficiently that it's... <laughs> That it wounds my pride. Okay, are you happy? Okay, so, this is just as well as anything. Let's listen to this Pamela recording, or this Pamela Echo. Arc Medical has changed from full power to emergency power. Because <laughs> we've been here long enough that that thing just depowered. Um, let's listen. 1,426 cases of the affliction are reported. 24 dead. The neural servers relay a strong sense of anguish. I work at 78% efficiency. Interesting. The Affliction. So that now we have the name. I mean, obviously, they're called The Afflicted, but I thought maybe there would be something a little bit more technical for this disease, but it's just called The Affliction. Okay. Um, I guess we'll find out more as we go along. Very cool that we ended up here, though, because it, it grants a certain insight into what's going on that we didn't have simply by being in Arc Medical or in uh, Arcadia. So, okay, so we'll call it there. Next time we come back, um, I will have either looted this place fully for, like, money, or maybe I'll do some cursory looting with you guys, and then we'll go, and we'll get out of here through that other exit, which, oh, you're here. No, I don't want to. End, no, we're ending this. We're ending this episode. I don't want to deal with you right now. Um. So we'll go through. We'll have to deal with that Reaper more than likely, and we'll have to find a way back. I don't even know where we are, relative to, like the other areas of Eden. So I guess we'll figure that out. Okay. So if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let me know that I'm doing something right. Let me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts about this game, you think there should be, uh, we should do something specific, or you have advice that uh, you want to share with me, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.